Good morning. We're here at Appalachian Gap. The plan is to do the long trail south back to Lincoln Gap. I'm going to do Ellen and Abraham, our two remaining Vermont 4,000 footers. and do a bunch of peaks in between on this uh, area known as the Monroe Skyline on the long trail. So we're going to get started. Let's roll. pretty wet so far <laughs> as to be expected with this rain we had. The uh, GMC actually closed a couple sections of the long trail with all this rain Vermont's had. Um, but I guess the initial assessment said that luckily there wasn't too much damage. So been a lot of wet trail but nothing unmanageable so far. Continuing to make our way up the ridge line. smoke out today in addition to it being cloudy. Hopefully it kind of continues to clear up as the day goes on, but we'll see. It's still really cool views and the weather is actually really nice. It's like dry and breezy. Not really that hot. Um, at least when you're out of the woods anyways. Keep rolling along the ridge. Into the night, I see a face that's in the dark Through his eyes, I see a light, a shiny gold And this man, he walks along, singing songs of victory When he sleeps, there's a struggle and the light begins to fade Heaven tells the past, all he has
had some nice little ladder sections here and there with uh, little metal bars drilled into the rock. They really haven't been that bad though. <laughs> Definitely it's helpful and appreciated going back up them, especially with the wet weather. I actually was originally thinking of going from Lincoln Gap to App Appalachian Gap today originally. Um, and kind of decided to do it this way instead. Figured if there was any steeper, sketchy section, it'd be better to go up than go down on tired legs later. So that's what we're doing. Heaven tells the past, all he had, love and fear. He was stronger than all he had, was love and hand. Then one day the thunder struck, evil tears run down. We're getting close to General Stark Mountain, which is before Mount Ellen. It's like kind of like just basically a, a little bump along this ridge line. Pass through, uh, I think, what was the top of the Mad River Glen ski area. Some pretty nice views. It's just that haze is really sticking around today. But you can still see out and see some mountains, so that's cool. Really nice woods up here. Really huge ferns and tons of wildflowers and butterflies and stuff. And really neat. So it looks like we passed right over General Stark Mountain. Didn't really notice anything notable over it, no views or anything. And uh, we can see the what I'm pretty sure is the hump of Mount Ellen in front of us. outlook it is super hazy unfortunately at least it's not raining it's pretty nice weather and stuff but yeah we can't see much I think it's haze and wildfire smoke coming from Canada could be worse beats working summit at Mount Ellen, having some food and some water. I think the summit's up ahead in the woods, but the, there's a really nice view from the ski area up here. Spectacular summit of uh, Mount Allen. Luckily, there's some views by the ski area, but really not much over here. This makes for our fourth Vermont 4,000 footer. Um, gonna be continuing down the ridge line. I think we're gonna see Lincoln Peak and then eventually Abraham. 
There might be a few other peaks in between. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Little car in here marking it. Just barely over 4,000 feet. Just barely. <laughs>
summon to Mount Abraham. I'm gonna do a quick outro and take some video because my battery is definitely gonna die on my camera momentarily. Unfortunately, it's like the haziest it's been all day, but if you took the time to watch this, thank you very much. Uh, consider giving it a like, comment, consider subscribing to my channel, Nick Hikes and Plays Guitar. And we'll see you in the next one. This is our last 4,000 footer in Vermont. Yep. Time for some Cheetos and yep. beer. Absolutely. Sounds good.